What's up guys, I'm back again today with another spinner video. Uh, this is by no means a review video, um, it's basically just an overview of the stuff that we're selling at uh, Pisao Saya Instagram account. All right. Um, I will also be doing a bit of a comparison between the stuff that we're selling and some other stuff out there that looks pretty similar but they're not, alright? Well, they cost cheaper but they're not the same. So I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, all this spinner right here that you're looking at. They're all Chinese made. I would like to apologize in advance if uh, they are clones of someone's model. I'm not familiar with that. I'm sorry, okay? So here it is. Um, so basically there are two models here, this four right here and this three model. But generally speaking, they're quite the same in quality. All right, here's the black one right here. They're all aluminum, okay? Now, this one that we're selling is actually pretty cheap. We're selling it really, really um, at low price because not because they're cheaply made, but because I got it really cheap from China, all right? I'm, I will not uh, uh, try to profit too much of a, our customers. So just make it normal, you know? You know, so everybody can have uh, their fair share of spinners, I guess. I'm gonna, um, I'll, trick, I'll try a different color so it's, uh, the camera can focus better. I'll try the silver one, okay? As you can see, these are all CNC. You can, as you can uh, you can see all the machining marks and stuff. Um, they are pretty decent in terms of quality. I'll show you what I'm what I'm talking about. All right. There's some crappy ones out there, really really crappy ones. See this model right here. Um, there are um, uh, pretty smooth. All right. Um, there are hot spots, but they're pretty decent because of the way they are. It's not that heavy. So when you're trying to spin it, it's, it's not that bad. It doesn't hurt. You see, I do it, I spin it like this. Okay. Now, most of the time I feel the hot spots actually, uh, uh, this part of my finger right here hurts the most. Okay. Now this, this model right here, it's actually not that bad. I'll go ahead and open the button for you guys. As you can see, that's an R188 uh, bearing. Okay. Now that bearing, it's steel bearing. It's, uh, you cannot remove it. You can, but uh, suggest not to because they're all press fit into this, uh, the, the shroud, I should say. Well, maybe there's another terminology for it. So anyways, um, they're not bad. The spinning time for this uh, brand new, it's about approximately two to three minutes. It depends on uh, where you spin it. All right, and they're pretty smooth, as you can see. All right, generally speaking, they're all pretty smooth, but they you come, there's one or two out of a hundred maybe, that's uh, wobbling, all right? So they're all the same. This one right here, this model, it comes in black, silver, gold, pink, a very nice color pink, uh, and blue. I'll show you the blue ones in a second because I'm going to compare that with uh, another one, another similar one. All right. So anyways, they're all anodized as far as, as, far as I know. Okay. Now, the most popular one obviously is the black one because uh, they look pretty sleek. Okay. Now, oh, I'm gonna try to compare it with this one. Now, this one right here, this model is a bit heavier and uh, it costs the same. Uh, we are selling this, all of this model right here at approximately about, oh well, at uh, Indonesian rupiah at 110,000. So, which uh, ten dollar US is a, is about one hundred one hundred and thirty thousand. So this right here in Indonesia, we are selling them at about US dollars, eight dollars maybe, eight 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 to nine dollars, approximately that much. All right. Now, considering that price range, this is a very well. It's very worth it. 
it's uh, spirited by. Okay. Now this model in particular, uh, all all of this, uh, in my opinion, they are somewhat better than that one. Why? Because they are heavier. Okay. Now. The main concern of a lot of people who play spinners uh, are the hot spot. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, uh, they have hot spots, obviously, because when you have 90 degrees corner like this, they're going to be. They are. They will be uh, hot spots. All right, to your fingers. So, um, but they're not bad. Okay. Um, some spinners out there have really, really sharp corners. This one right here, it's not that bad. As you can see, you can see the chamfering right there, all right? Now, that's not enough in my opinion, but that's pretty good. A lot of people don't spin really, really hard, so it's not that bad. It doesn't affect them that much. This one, on the other hand, uh, luckily, I'm going to take the gold one right here. Luckily, um, uh, they have this part right here, which, uh, which helps a bit, okay? Um, generally speaking, uh, this one right here is not that bad because it's very light, so it uh, doesn't hurt your finger too much. Excuse me. Okay, as you can see right here, that's the blue one. This blue one, as you can see, uh, they're anodized. Okay. This one also uses an R188 uh, bearing. Now, this one, however, you can remove the, but, uh, the bearing like so all right it's a steel r188 bearing uh it's uh, pretty decent uh considering its price range okay uh workmanship finishing and everything else is pretty pretty good uh, okay now, let's get right to it. I'm, the, the reason I'm making this video is actually for this comparison right here. Because uh, a lot of customers, they're not too familiar with spinners. When they looked at pictures and they see the price differences, they thought we're scamming them by selling the same product as much ex much uh, higher price. Now, I will show you this product right here. Okay, it comes in this box. Okay, that's the blue one. It's basically the same one as these, all right? Now, that's a blue one. Okay, I'm going to put this aside, all right? Now, as you can see there, this one right here, it's uh, like all those. They're pretty well made, okay? Pretty clean cut, you know? You see the chamfering? Okay, very well made. All right? And very smooth. Check that out. Okay. And very quiet too, all right? I'll try to put this up close to the microphone. I don't, I don't know if you guys can hear that. But as you can see, it's very, very smooth and very quiet and it's very balanced, all right? Now I'm going to show you another product which a lot of people, to most people, it looks pretty much the same thing as this, but they're not, okay? I'm gonna put this right here. So here it is. The box, everything, they're the same kind of box, okay? It looks pretty sim similar, man, look. But they are not. Now, people are uh, selling these at a much lower price, and a lot of customers thought uh, they're the same, and they thought, now, check this out, okay? Listen. First of all, look. Okay. Listen to that. Now, see how wobbling that thing is? All right. Now, that is not the same as that, okay? I will compare it with this. I'm a right-handed person, so... Um, just to be fair, I'm going to spin it with my left hand, my weak hand. This is my right hand. I don't know if that makes any difference. But yeah, let's do it one more time. Oh. Okay. Let's do it one more time, all right?
Now, let's see the difference. Now, will you look at that? Look at how narrow the chamfering is, and look at all this imperfection, and how thin the thing is. Okay? They are different, man. What you guys are paying is uh, what you pay is what you got, you know? At a glance, they look, they, they look pretty, pretty, pretty uh, similar, right? I'm going to try to, let's do the wobbling, see? Obviously, they're going to be wobbling, but look at how tight this thing is in comparison to this. Ooh, yeah, baby. Look at that, okay? I'm going to try to open the button. Let's see inside. I haven't opened it yet, so this is the first time as well. Oh, look at that. You can actually remove it. Pretty cool. I'm assuming you can, you can, uh, the bearing can be removed, but uh, it's pretty tight. Well, you know, I think it's using. I'm not. I'm not sure what size bearing they're using. It probably uh, be. They're using the same size bearing, uh, R188 maybe. Okay, here you go. Let's open this up. Yes, they are 188. A different different uh, kind of bearing I'm not I'm not a bearing expert I'm not gonna uh, say which one is better uh, I guess I don't know right now okay look at all the well like like I said you know please do not compare this product to that product because they're not the same quality Okay, I don't. I don't even want to say these. These are the fake ones. If I don't know if uh, there's such a thing as a fake uh, spinner, especially this this model right here. Now, obviously, is if you guys can notice the the. Oh my goodness! That's 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 how fast it's. Well, how short the spinning time is. There you go. Okay, you guys can see it for yourself. It's, it's, I'm not. I'm not. You, well, you obviously have to put it in the, on, a, on a on a table to spin it two-handed, right? To be fair, but that's uh, as you probably can judge for yourself uh, what kind of spinning quality uh, this spinner right here have in comparison to in com comparison to this. I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna wait until this thing stops. But anyways, you get you guys get what I mean, all right? Now, um, I guess uh, this video uh, show some light to uh, the different um, pro uh, quality products uh, spinners out there in the market. Uh, so you guys uh, know what you guys are getting, so you guys don't get ripped off. Hope this helped. Uh, thank you so much for watching, um, spending time to watch my video. Uh, if you like it, please uh, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Bye-bye.